now for everyone's second favorite game show after The Lice is Right, it's Two What's and a Wow! With your hosts, Mindy and Two what's and a wow. Two what's and a wow. The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. <laughs> and the category for today is space. Mindy, why don't you refresh our contestants on how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about space. But, and this is a big but only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? Now in each round, if you guess correctly, congratulations, you win a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a redonkulous physical challenge. Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Then let's do it. Round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, there are more trees on Earth than stars in our solar system? Or is it B, if you shoot for the moon by launching yourself in a giant catapult, you'll land among the stars? Or is it C, it takes roughly 50 years to travel from Earth to Pluto? When you think you have the correct answer, count your fingers with your toes. Uh, thinking music, please. And time is up. Let's now reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Louie from Arizona. Louie from Arizona, please reveal the winning wow. Hi, my name is Louie, and my wow in the world is our planet has more trees compared to stars in the solar system. Winner, winner, tree mark for dinner! Thank you, Louie. Contestants, if you guess the answer A, that there are more trees on Earth than stars in our solar system, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. While you might see a lot of stars in the night sky, those are from our Milky Way galaxy. There's only one star in our solar system. And that star, of course, is named Dennis? Dennis, stop messing with the cue cards. <laughs> <sighs> that star, of course, is the sun. It's the only star in our solar system. But Earth has over three trillion trees. That's over 400 trees for every person. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and do your best tree impression. <laughs> All right, time for round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, astronauts are shorter in space? Or is it B, the cow who jumped over the moon received an honorary award from NASA in 1983? Or is it C, the planet Mercury is slowly shrinking over time? When you think you have the correct answer, say your guess without opening your mouth. <laughs> hey, Reggie, can we get some thinking music, please? And time is up. To reveal the winning wow, it's Presley from Florida. Presley, tell us, what's the winning wow? Hi, Mindy Guy Raz. My wow in the world is that Mercury is slowly shrinking over time. Winner, winner, planet Mercury for dinner! Thank you, Presley. Contestants, if you guess the answer C, that Mercury is slowly shrinking over time, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. 
Mercury formed about four and a half billion years ago. And since then, Mercury's molten hot core has been cooling down, so much so that the planet has lost about 8.6 miles from its diameter. So in other words, this planet is literally taking up less space. <laughs> now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and roll to the nearest bathroom. And now for the final round, round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, M&Ms have been on all space shuttle missions since 1981? Or is it B, if you were to walk the distance to the moon nonstop 24 seven, it would take you approximately 20 years. Or is it C? The moon isn't made of cheese, but astronauts report that it actually smells like Parmesan. <laughs> hey, Reggie, cue the thinking music. <laughs> and now, to reveal that winning wow, please welcome by phone, Charlie from New Hampshire. Charlie, tell us, what's the winning wow? Hi, Mindy and Guy Ross. My name is Charlie. Am I well that M&Ms were on all space shuttle missions after 1981? Astronauts gobbled them up like Pac-Man as they floated in the craft. Winner, winner, M&Ms for dinner! Thank you, Charlie. Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that M&Ms have been on all space shuttle missions since 1981, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. That's right, Guy Raz. M&Ms actually joined NASA's astronauts in over 130 space shuttle missions. In fact, some of these M&Ms were actually personalized for the astronauts themselves. And speaking of personalized candies, I have a little surprise for you. Let me just get it out of my adventure toolkit here. Uh, here we go. Ta-da! Look, Thomas Fingerling made us personalized candy. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Uh, let's see what they say. Wendy and some guy named Ross? Eh, close enough. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and sing your favorite song backwards. What was that? Oh, Guy Raz, that sound can mean only one thing. You illegally parked your ice cream truck again? I did, but that is the sound of the Bonker Balls bonus round. If you listen to our Wow in the World episode titled Sponge City, you'll know the answer to this one. And if not, go back and give it a listen. It's a fun one. And the Bonker Balls bonus question for today is, what makes a sponge city a sponge city? Is it A, a pineapple under the sea? Or is it B, enough bacteria in a single sponge to infect the entire city with germs? Or is it C, using materials found in nature to turn a city into a big sponge that can absorb rain and water and even save it for later? And joining us with today's answer, it's Reggie. Reggie, tell us, what's the winning wow? <laughs> and the answer is C. Sponge cities use materials found in nature to mimic or copy the natural world. Materials that can absorb rain and water, just like a sponge. The goal of making sponge cities is to prevent floods where much of the natural water and water absorbing materials have been destroyed to build buildings and homes and roads. Well, congratulations to all of our winning wowzers. Mindy, what's today's prize? Guy Raz, 
today's winning wowzers will all be receiving their very own Miss Fortune cookies. Uh, Here, try one, Guy Raz. Well, my misfortune cookie says... What does it say? You are destined to have a popcorn kernel stuck in the back of your teeth this week. Oh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Huh. Okay, Reg, cue the prize cannon. Oh, no. Sorry! No! <laughs> That's about all the time we have for today, but if you want to keep the fun going, then become a member of the World Organization of Wowzers and unlock hundreds of activities. And for any teachers in our listening audience, consider joining Tinker Class, our free brand new learning platform that helps get kids wild about science. Just visit tinkercast.com slash membership. That's tinkercast.com slash membership. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World this weekend for some Wee Wow in the Weekend with Dennis. And again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's and a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on, on wowing. wowing.